Okay, we're looking at the very northern section of the Rainbow Mountains. And um, what you see is, is a peak directly in front of us. And above that peak is White Rock Mountain. And then over in this direction, the Keystone Thrust Cliffs with uh, El Bastardo and El Padre Mountains visible at the summit of those cliffs ahead. And then looking around, you see the, the stretch of the Keystone Thrust. In a western direction. Here's another uh, little peak at the very northern end of the Rainbow Mountains. And then up here is the Upper Crest Ridge Line. So um, at some point in the future, I want to do the very far north section of the Rainbow Mountains Upper Crest Ridge Line. And that would involve starting out, I'm not sure. Um, Definitely this little peak's not going to do it because there's a huge drop between this and the Rainbow Mountains Ridge Line proper. And you can see there's where it begins. Somehow I need to get up to this area up here. And I think on the other side of this is what I call Paradise Plateau, which is the area I summited on uh, I got the video up on the page, Rainbow Mountains, North Upper Crest Ridge Line. This would be far north. And so at some point, yes, we'll tackle this area. Maybe we'll take um, these two peaks, some of these two peaks, but I'm not so sure. I need to find a better approach to these um, far north peaks. That one that I just showed you, and this one. This one probably is doable. Um, but the one over here, yeah, this peak, looks like there's a lot of cliff action there, so at least from this side. So maybe we won't get both those north peaks, but I wanna find the earliest point that I can summit this far north Upper Crest Ridge Line. So we'll take a look at it again in a little bit. Um, that'll be a future adventure, probably in the spring. There's already snow even up at this level, which makes these um, red Jurassic era sandstone rocks very, very slick. It's like an ice skating rink up there. So um, I, we, we're probably going to descend and do some adventures in the lower Red Rock Park and Blue Diamond Mountain and then down Lake Mead area but and until next spring but for now let's just keep on heading up Rocky Gap Road toward the summit of Rocky Gap Road here's another look at that far north ridge line and and here's the little peak um, at the very northern end and uh, behind it White Rock Mountain and here you can see we trace the ridge line upward looks like a lot of cliff action in the lower area however it also looks like there might be a gully right down here that begins right down in this area and goes around and up and that could be a a way to summit this uh, point on the ridge line. And right over here, I believe, we'll take a closer look at it as we continue to ascend Rocky Gap Road, but I believe that is the point just above and to the north of that area I call Paradise Plateau. So, yeah, that's the very north ridge line far north. And there you see the keystone thrust beginning again. And this additional little peak that looks like it's got a lot of uh, vertical rock action happening there. 
and then there's a huge wash below us. So that gives you the a look, the lay of the land up at this very northern section of the Rainbow Mountains, Upper Crest Ridge Line, just where it begins here. Continuing to scope out the north, the far north Upper Crest Ridge Line from below. And here you can see the point where it, it descends and finally you're at the base of the ridge line and still looking for some potential approaches. This gully right down here in the middle will trace it up. It looks like it could be an approach up to this point up ahead and then on over to this high point, which again is the high point above what I call Paradise Plateau. Maybe it has another name, but that's what I call it. And then up into this area, which is starting to hit the north upper crest ridge line instead of the far north. Um, you see the rocky outcrops there, jagged top of the ridge line. And maybe that's North Peak. Maybe North Peak is beyond. We don't know from this perspective. We're down on Rocky Gap Road. But anyway, yeah, Paradise Plateau is just beyond and to the right of that high point. So what I'm thinking of doing at some point in the future when I actually do uh, explore the far northern Upper Crest Ridge Line up here and just take that ridge line all the way to either this gully and then head down to the wash below or maybe head down that slope to the wash. Either way, I'm going to end up in that wash. Um, that would be a circuit. I'd start up Rocky Gap Road. I would then take You'll see in the foreground there a ridge. I take that ridge up to the Paradise Plateau area in the Upper Crest Ridge Line. I would turn, I would explore that beautiful area for a bit and then take a left and head along the Upper Crest Ridge Line down to this gully and descend right in the center, or the slope, as they call it, the northern slope of the Upper Crest Ridge Line. Uh, I gotta name these things, I'm not sure they have names. So anyway, yeah, there's the gully below. And here is Rocky Gap Road as we continue upward but I just wanted to scope out the far northern Upper Crest Ridge Line for a future adventure. And once we've completed the far north Upper Crest Ridge Line, then it's just a matter of, um, well, we've put together the north Upper Crest Ridge Line all the way to, all the way through basically. Okay, onward. Here's another look at the far north Upper Crest Ridge Line. 